I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question to find equivalent trigonometric ratios when we are considering the angle between 0 to 360 degrees. Question is, write three equivalent trigonometric ratios for each of the following. Sine of 210 degrees, cosine of minus 200 degrees, cotangent of 45 degrees. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now as we learn, to find equivalent trigonometric ratios, we have to look into two things. First one is the cost rule, right? Which tells us whether the expected value is positive or negative. Sine 210 means you are in quadrant 3. If you are in quadrant 3, you are expecting negative value. Perfect. That's one thing. Second thing which you need to know is the related acute angle. How do you find it? 210 acute angle is with respect to horizontal x-axis, right? So that is 210. So we are looking for the acute angle, right? So which will be 210 minus 180 degrees, right? That is 30 degrees. So the related acute angle is 30 degrees. So basically, sine of 210 is equivalent to sines of angles which make related acute angle of 30 degrees but it could have a negative or a positive sign depending on in which quadrant we are right so what we do really is that we know now that the acute angle for us is 30 degrees right so we say beta is equals to 30 degrees so in all four quadrants we look for beta of 30 degrees so that is 30 degrees of acute angle 30 degrees of acute angle 30 degrees of acute angle perfect now we have three solutions the first one will be in quadrant one in quadrant one sine is positive but we are looking for negative value and therefore we write down this answer as negative sine 30 degrees so if I do negative sine 30 degrees, I get what sine 210 degrees is, okay? So that is my first value. If I'm looking for this angle, which is that angle, it should be 180 minus 30, which is 150. Sine is positive here also. We have to make it negative. Therefore, it is minus sine 150 degrees, right? And that should be equal to in this quadrant we already had 210 which is negative now the last value which is in quadrant 4 now sine is negative in quadrant 4 so we don't have to make it negative right so it is negative sine and what is the angle 360 minus 30 so it is 330 degrees so all these three I'm sorry this should be positive since sine is automatically negative in quadrant 4 perfect now, so these three are the equivalent trigonometric ratios for sine 210. What you can do is, you can use your calculator, test whether you get the same value for each or not. Let's follow the same principle and answer the next one, which is cos of 210 degrees. Okay, so let me sketch it once again. And this 210 is negative. That means you move clockwise 180 and then 20 more, right? So there you are. Acute angle for you is 20. Perfect. So we are looking for all acute angles of 20 degrees. So let's extend this line and let me draw like this, right? So what we have here is all acute angles of 20 degrees to get the answer, right? So that is the strategy. Now, second thing is the cast rule. The cost rule says that cosine is only positive in quadrant 4 and in quadrant 1. Here sine is positive and tan. So we are looking for a negative value, right, of cosine. And we know the acute angle for us is 20 degrees, right. Now based on this, we can quickly write down all our answers. So we already know 1. We could give answer as this 20 degrees. Here all are positive so cosine will be positive I need negative solution so I'll write negative cos of 20 degrees right in this quadrant cosine is negative so the answer is cos of 
180 minus, this is 160 degrees, 180 minus 20, 160 degrees. And that should be equal to, in this quadrant, 180 plus 20, that is cos of 200 degrees, right? Now, here also it is negative. But if you check on this value, which is 360 minus 20, so that we have to make negative. So we'll write minus cos of 340 degrees, so, so that you get a negative answer. Perfect. That is how you should be doing it. In these two quadrants, means 1 and 4, cosine is positive. So we have to write negative before that to make it negative. That's the whole idea, right? Now the last one is cotangent. I purposely taken cotangent, which is reciprocal of tan, right? So tan is positive in quadrant 3, right? So here tan is positive. Now all are positive here. Sine is positive in quadrant 2, cosine 4. Cotangent of 45, it means 45 is in quadrant 1. So that means we are looking for a positive value. Perfect. Now let us extend this and make four positions. So what we have here is, this is 45 degrees, that is measured from here. And if you do this, it is 180 minus 45, so it is 135 degrees. And if you see this value, it is 180 plus 45, so 225 degrees. And this will be 360 minus 45 degrees, right? So which is 5 and 315 degrees, right? So these are possible angles, right? We have to check the sign. We are looking for positive answers. In this second quadrant, cot has to be negative. So we need negative answer. We we'll write minus cot of whatever angle, 135 degrees. That should be, and this is equal to cot 45. In this quadrant, cot is positive again. Tan is positive, therefore cot is positive. So we have to make it positive. No, it is positive. So just cot of 225 degrees is good enough. In this quadrant, cot is negative. Therefore, we have to make it positive. So we'll write this as negative of cot of 315. I hope with this you understand how do we get equal in trigonometric ratios. So the idea is, for any trigonometric ratios, we should first figure out whether the value expected is positive or negative, right? Once we do so, then we need to find the related acute angle. So there are two steps. Two steps is find the quadrant. If you know the quadrant, you know sine, right? Whether it is positive or negative. And second thing is find Related acute angle. In our case, beta. And then, with all related acute angles of beta, you get possible solutions. Combine the two informations to get the right answer. That is what you should be doing. That should help you. Thank you and all the best.